All right, so just to continue on what we did last time, uh, I'm just going to add uh, more code. So when you click, it's going to go ahead and change this um, this number, this image count number. That's what this function does. All it basically does is just a counter for the slides. That's all this function is doing, okay? Because we're going to use that to change the name, all right, So um, of the image. So first thing we need to do is um, select the image. So we're going to do a uh, uh, money symbol. And then we need to, the thing that goes in here is what we called this component, which was images. Okay. Uh, double click. Yeah. See how it says images. So that's the name that we're using. That's what we're selecting. Okay. Uh, so images. All right. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to change the attribute. So A T T R and the attribute of that that we're going to change um, is the source. Okay. Um, boom, source. And then the source, what we want to put in there is going to be images slash photo underscore um, boom. So basically uh, in this, it's going to do images and then we're going to have an images folder and then it's going to look for a photo. And then the first one's going to be photo underscore one. Okay. Um, then uh, to that, we're going to go ahead and also add uh, the image count. All right. So this is the number. So which gets changed up here. Okay. So the image count. And then it's going to be um, we need to add. Uh, so this is called concatenation. If you remember, we need to add the um, PNG or if you're just JPEG, then dot JPG or dot GIF, depending on what your image type is. OK. So in a sense, what this is doing, this little part here is creating a string to put into the source. OK. Uh, boom and boom. And that's good. OK. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and change the label as well. So we're going to look for um, whatever I named that. So in this case, it is called uh, descriptions. So I'm just going to copy that. OK, so descriptions. Oh, make sure I'm back on that. OK, uh, we're going to change it there. So hashtag control V descriptions. All right. And inside of that, I want to change the text uh, property of that. And the text is going to be um what i wrote up here which is captions so captions um and it's going to be captions and then it's going to be the image count minus one all right minus one boom all right Oops, hang on a second. We gotta put that there. All right. Um so basically what it's doing is that it's saying in captions when you put something in here um, each one of these things are indexed. So this would be zero, this would be one, this would be two, and then if there was more, it'd be four, five. And so when you want to select a specific one of them, you would say like captions, and then you put in that number, okay? That's the reason we had to put minus one, because it's not just going to be, if I put one here, it's actually going to give me this. I need zero. So when it's one, it should be zero, and when it's two, it should be one because that's how it lines up. Okay. So that's the reason why that looks like that. Okay. Um, and that is good. So now what I'm going to do is kind of the same thing as before. I'm going to select this little guy here. Um, go back to my actions here. Uh, let's see, actually, I want to select this and we're going to go ahead and add a code uh, snippet to that. So, oh, actually I already have it selected. Um, I'm just going to double click button, uh, click event. So after I select it and I don't need this anymore. And I'm just going to take this and basically copy and paste it. So just this chunk inside. <coughs> Excuse me. So control C and that's going to go in here. Control V. And uh, I got to take this and put in a minus and the rest of it's fine. The only thing that's going to be different is changing that image count. Uh, and we can get rid of this uh, commented section as well. Okay. Yay. Um, good and that should be that um okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and save this control s and we're gonna save it onto the desktop and we're gonna save on slideshow tutorial and i'm just gonna call this slideshow okay save um and i'm just gonna hit control enter 
I just want to show you something. So I hit control enter. Now this isn't going to work initially. Okay. When I click, see how it does nothing. Well, it changes the number. Say it changes this, but see how the image isn't pumping up because I only linked the first one in a sense. Okay. So let me show you what that just did. There's a reason why I did it right now. Uh, if I go to the slideshow tutorial, um, when I hit control enter, it actually has to make all these components. Okay. In order for you to preview it, that's actually the file here. So see how there's an images folder and it automatically put that first one in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my other images that I had and I'm gonna plop those in there. So I'm gonna grab the rest of them. So two and three. All right. And I'm just going to control C and control V. Um, that was not what I wanted. Why you no work. Okay. You and you control C. Control V. There it goes. Okay. And I put those basically inside the images folder. Now, when I go in here and hit control enter again, now it will work. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, there. Okay. It's working. Okay. And there you go. And we have our buttons and we have this. Okay. Um, and that is that. All right. Uh, okay. And what we'd have to do is basically export this out as, um, we have to publish this and all that, but I'm not going to worry with that because that just takes time and uh, we can do that in class. All right. Um, yeah. So, uh, that's it.